Watching Zongit's Chris, I am struck by how much she reminds me of Fay Ray, the female star of the original version of that classic movie, King Kong. I do not mean this in any kind of disrespectful way, but simply as an observation. King Kong, the original version, is one of my favourite movies. The natives on the island where King Kong lived built a great wall in order to protect themselves from the mighty ape who shared their island with them. In this manner they hoped to keep him safely in the jungle, his natural habitat. But then white men came to the island. We're millionaires, boys. I'll share it with all of you. Why, in a few months it'll be up in lights on Broadway. Kong, the eighth wonder of the world! Meddling and interfering as, I am sorry to say, white men are so fond of doing. And this was what caused all the trouble. The train of events set in motion by their meddling led Kong, infatuated with the white woman, to break through the barrier that the natives had built. But he ended up being taken captive and transported to New York, where, once again, he escaped and sought out the white woman. And sought out the white woman, Fay Ray, who so captivated him. The result was tragedy for King Kong. A mighty beast, killed by beauty. I see this movie as deeply symbolic, for in my opinion, the fundamental driving force that brings black men out of Africa, seeking entry to the Western nations, is not the desire for a better material lifestyle, but a far more elemental impulse. Black men pour out of Africa in search of white women. This impulse may be, con may be conscious or it may be subliminal, but the consequences are the same. Taken to its logical conclusion, the end result of all this can only mean one thing, the negrification of those societies that fall prey to such immigration. King Kong is a symbol of black male sexuality. White liberals cannot understand this because they are for the most part themselves sexually confused. They are in awe of the black man, in awe of the mighty Kong. Lacking confidence in their own civilization, white liberals are indifferent as to whether or not that civilization survives. In the movie, it is clearly understood by the authorities that civilized society cannot live with King Kong in its midst. So the decision is taken to kill him, which gives the movie its tragic ending. The black men, now pouring into Western societies, they should not be allowed to achieve their goal of taking control of white womanhood. No, they should be returned to Africa, their true homeland. For it is Africa where God intended the greater part of the black race to live.
This is not racism, but justice. Nowhere in this video have I advocated racism. Both the black and the white races have been made by God. And each of these races should be allowed to pursue its destiny without interference from the other. Only in this way can racial harmony be achieved. And I believe in racial harmony as much as anybody else. Stop that talking! Don't say that, little girl. Tell her to shut the fuck up. This has been an obnoxious cat production. <laughs>